Did we mention there'd be no GPS? Satellites wouldn't be able to orbit a flat Earth, leaving humanity with no navigation and no synchronized time. This means no ATMs, no credit cards, no high-speed stock market transactions. On the bright side, with a good pair of binoculars, you could see Dubai's Burj Khalifa from any part of the flat world. Well, hey guys, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. What if the Earth was actually flat? This video just came out and wow, it's a doozy. I'll tell you, if they're coming into damage control, this is not one way to do it. It's unbelievable to me how many people are actually putting out videos on this topic. If we weren't onto something, why would they put out so many things trying to debunk it? And again, they keep going back to all this nonsense. They don't get into real science. Wait till you see this video. It's going to blow your mind. Hopefully you'll share this, get the truth out there, show people this is exactly what they're doing when it comes to flat earth. Again, it's all disinformation, nothing at all. What any of us believe, what any of us hold to be true. But again, this is how they smear it. This is how they make it ridiculous. Let's get into it. I'm going to commentary through it all just so we can laugh and have a good time because wow, this is quite something. Here we go. What if the flat earthers were right and the earth was in fact flat? We've got a big problem, first of all. Obviously here they're showing something and this is where most of the video is gonna get into. They're gonna get into this. What's wrong with this picture? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, big problem. Yes, it's in space. This is what they keep coming back to. They say nothing can work because of space. I'll get into it. Watch this. How would gravity work? Would we still have time zones? Change of seasons? Would the conditions for life here on Earth exist at all? This is what if, and here's what the Earth would look like if it was flat. First of all, forget about walking to its edge. Gravity would simply not let you. Gravity would simply not let you. All right, now I don't know anyone in any type of flat Earth ideologies, any type of models, any type, the, any type of structure that they put it in. Gravity doesn't exist. Again, it's almost like these people cannot separate the two. It's like, no, we can't look at flat Earth because how does gravity work? Why don't you assume for just, just for a few minutes, there is no gravity. Oh, oh, no, it's okay. Don't panic. No, don't get, don't get sweaty palms. It's okay. We're not in space. That's right. There is no space. Wait, would gravity even be possible on a flat Earth? The answer is yes, of course. The force of gravity is what keeps our planet or any other planet together. So right there, obviously getting it back into our planet or any other planet. Understand that Earth is not a planet. It is a plane, all right? They added a T to the end of it. That's where the deception lies or any other planet. So obviously they're getting into this whole gravity, the force of gravity. This is what works on planets. The Earth is not a planet. It's what forms a planet in the first place. In the case of a pancake-shaped Earth, the force of gravity would pull you to the center and would become stronger as you tried to walk away from it, pulling the top of your body backwards. It would feel as if you were climbing a hill, a hill that was getting steeper and steeper and steeper. By the time you reach the edge, down and behind you would be the same direction. Sound weird? How about water being sucked into the center of the Earth? or diagonal trees growing in the opposite direction of gravity's pull. And then there's the sun. All right, so first of all, we got a big problem. They're getting into why it would work. We got gravity. Again, there is no gravity. This is what they love to put in is gravity. This is what throws everyone off is because they say, oh yeah, it's absurd. That's right, because look at, yeah, gravity wouldn't work. We're not in space. We're not a planet. How would a flat Earth behave in space? One flat Earth theory is that the sun revolves around the Earth, not the other way around. What if the sun orbited the Earth just like the moon does? In that case, you'd never suffer jet lag because there'd be no such thing as time zones. The sun would light up both the top and the bottom of the planet. Again, look at the sun, right? They're talking about being 93 million miles away. Again, when you have a smaller sun, a much closer to the proximity of Earth, it easily works. Time zones, just type this in people. Watching videos like this shows that they've done absolutely zero research. It's like they're in damage control. They've got to put this out, make people laugh, make people ridicule it, walk away from it. And yet 
This is ridiculous. This is not even playing fair. If you're going to play fair, why don't you research truly what we believe? Because we do not believe that we're in space. We do not believe in the current models of the sun, the moon, the stars. You like to say, yes, they do. Look at in space. It wouldn't work. You're right. It wouldn't work in your nonsense space paradigm that you put together to deceive all of mankind. Space does not exist. We're a plane. Everything revolves around us. We don't move. We're stationary. This is where the deception lies, but this is what we see constantly, time and time again with these videos. This would mean constant light, no day and night cycle, also no seasons or solar eclipses. The sun itself would have to be much smaller, otherwise it would burn the earth to a crisp. It would probably fry the planet anyway, as there would be no geomagnetic field to protect earth from its radiation. So there we go again, right? So again, talking about the sun, this is what it would have to do because it would need this geomagnetic field because it would need gravity. It would need all this space paradigm in place for the sun to work. Understand the sun doesn't need space for it to work. It doesn't need at all. <laughs> the moon, sun and stars do not need space is what we've been taught. Again, it's hard to wrap your mind around. I understand you're probably watching this, even people that have shared this and you've come to this video and you're like, yeah, but it can't exist. Why don't you look into it and see exactly what flat earthers are truly saying? Because this is what is put in place to make us look ridiculous when the truth is out there and the truth will set you free. The geomagnetic field is generated in the solid core of the earth Oh, the solid core of the earth. That's right. We've only dug, what, eight miles into the core of the earth. And yet look at that. Look at all the diagrams they have in the children's textbooks about all the different layers. They have no clue. This is all theory. This is all postulation. This is not scientific. For science to be true, it is put through the scientific method. It's called empirical science. Look it up. Understand that a lot of what you're believing these days is scientism, not science. They've merged scientism. They've actually blended it all to make it look real when it's just theories of man. And this is what we think. And you've got to, you know, answer the right answer or you're going to fail your test. But yet we have no clue because the furthest that has been dug, I think it's no more than eight miles into the core. You can look this up. I think it was Russians that did it. I think in the 80s or maybe it was the 90s again they have no clue but yet they show us all these things and they tell us how everything works and yet ask them ask them the proof show them scientifically you know to prove this and use the scientific method and ask them for empirical data that you can basically attach to these models of descriptions they put in children's books and teach us from an early age and keeps our atmosphere from escaping Without it, cosmic rays would bombard our bodies, causing everything from cancer to DNA damage. The oceans would escape into space. <laughs> so again, here we go. Space, space, space. Why don't you just explain, please, what if, if the Earth was really flat with no space? Why don't you try to construct it brand new and then come at it scientifically showing the curvature rates, eight inches per mile squared. Show us the experiment. We can conclusively prove that the earth is indeed a spherical body, but you can't. You keep bringing nonsense into it. Are you going to bring ships go over the horizon? Probably not because you're so big into space in this one. Everything is into space. Well, without space, what else? What else would not exist? Tell us what else would happen if there was no space. And so would the air and all our oxygen. But let's assume that a flat Earth had an alternative to our magnetic field. This way you'd still be alive to notice some of the strange flat Earth effects. Like your shadow. Say you had a friend just as tall as you, but they lived a thousand miles away. On a sunny day, your shadows would be the very same length. Because unlike here, on a spherical Earth, the sun's rays would hit both of you at the same angle. So is this like a modern day version of Aristosthenes uh, when you're getting into the obelisks with the shadows? Are you kidding me? Again, 93 million miles away is what they say the sun is. If you have a much closer and smaller sun, this works exactly the same. Don't let them fool you with nonsense shadows. And if you two were to meet up, traveling would turn out very different. Let's take a map introduced by the Flat Earth Society. Yeah, the one that shows the Arctic at the center and Antarctica as an ice wall around the edges. 
In this world, it would take you 32 hours to fly from Australia to Argentina. Did we mention there'd be no GPS? Oh, no GPS? Satellites wouldn't be able to orbit a flat Earth. Oh, no satellites? Oh no. Leaving humanity with no navigation and no synchronized time. This means no ATMs, no credit cards, no high-speed stock market trends. This means no ATMs, no credit cards, and no high-speed market transactions. So what they're saying here in this video is that because of satellites, this is the reason that we have credit cards. This is the reason we have ATM machines or high-speed market transactions. I'm sorry, but the last time I checked with any type of high-speed internet wasn't coming through any satellite, all right? If anything, it comes from wires beneath the ocean floor. That's exactly where it comes. Look it up satellites how's those sat phones working out you know that was going to be great when we could have a, a signal we could talk anywhere in the world with those satellite connections yeah how's that going cell phone towers seem to be dominating and it's triangulation ground-based this is a bunch of nonsense but again they bring it in and go so far as to see there would be no atm machines no credit cards no credit cards <laughs> no credit cards and no high-speed market transactions transactions on the bright side, with a good pair of binoculars, you could see Dubai's Burj Khalifa from any part of the flat world. Ah, uh, yes, another misconception that if it was flat, you should be able to see anywhere in the world. Just this is absolute nonsense when it comes to lines of perspective, when it comes into atmosphere, all these different things uh, that are in place, why we can't see, you know, uh, 50,000 miles away. But again, they bring this one in saying, oh, on the bright side, we should be able to see it. But let's be honest, you don't need to build your own rocket to see that the Earth is not flat. The evidence is all around us. The evidence is all around us. All right. Anybody have a problem with that picture? <laughs> yes, it's called fisheye lens. GoPro. Exactly. This is what's going on here. Love how they ended off with the evidence is all around us. Just such a great way to conclude it. And furthermore, when they say, look, you know, it's round, it's round. Yeah, you're right, it is round. Flat Earthers believe it's round. We just don't believe it is a sphere. We don't believe it's pear-shaped like Neil deGrasse Tyson. We don't believe it's an oblate spheroid like Wikipedia, Cyclopedia, look it up, you'll see. It's actually not even spherical anymore. It's an oblate spheroid. It bulges at the equator. That's another matter altogether. But again, they show us these pictures, but we have pictures, we have videos, we have astronauts going to space and you don't have to build a rocket to see for yourself. First of all, you won't even be able to build a rocket. You won't even be able to be allowed up high enough it's militarized and it's militarized for a reason and do not be deceived with spacex or virgin galactic these private companies they're private they're independent they're not government and they're not military don't be deceived that they're all working together for this goal it's the illusion to actually give you the appearance that anybody with enough brains and enough dollars can put together and a crew and go to space and remember they're all going to mars no one's going to the moon but they're going to mars anyways another video we'll get into that but again getting into this last image gopro every time i see these photos and people show them see see how high do you think they are there how high no just take a guess you know you could write in the comments how high you think they are and if you honestly think there's that much curvature you basically need to turn off your television. You need to stop watching movies. You know, a little bit of too much Hollywood, a little bit of too much sci-fi. Maybe you've been on a Star Trek convention a couple too many times. Maybe you went to the last Star Wars and you can't let go, but you have to try to. You have to see the difference. Do you think there's a difference? Science, science fiction, or could they be all in the same, especially when it comes to space? This video goes to prove that it's just a bunch of nonsense saying that we wouldn't have credit cards and we wouldn't have ATM machines if it wasn't for a spherical Earth in space and that the flat Earth can't work because how would it work in space? That's the number one thing that you have to take away from this video. Nobody, and I mean nobody, and you can write in the comments, link to them, link to their page, link to their YouTube that believe that we're on a flat plane flying through space. I don't know of anyone. I have yet to have someone point someone out credible that can point me to this, but yet all the media love to point this out. They love to like spin it and say, yet yeah, this is this is what the flat earthers believe. You know how many millions of people watch videos like this and they nod their head and they go, oh, those bunch of ridiculous guys. 
but it's not ridiculous. Look into it because we don't believe that we're in space. And if we're not in space and we're not moving and that everything revolves around us and we're stationary on a plane, we don't need gravity. All we need is buoyancy and density. We just need basic, simple, true science. Then could it exist? Could it be possible? Could times and seasons work? Could time zones, could eclipses, could all of these things work? There's been a lot of people looking into this because again, it's the discovery for truth. Look into it and see for yourself. And you will see that so many of the questions that all of us had, and trust me, most of us laughed at this at first. It's funny, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But it's not ridiculous when you start looking into it deeper. Stop listening to the propaganda, stop listening to the media, why would they come out so much against flat earth it's probably the most ridiculous thing right especially when it's portrayed you know pancakes flying around in space and if it's that ridiculous why are they paying so much attention to it why are so many people coming out the flat earth international conference all the media descended on there they want to know what's going on. They want to figure it out because they want to figure out how to combat it. They want to figure out how to come against it. Only problem is they don't have anything scientific. So they're going to come out with GoPro. They're going to come out with nonsense theories. This is their only play that they have is coming up with nonsense, is keep enforcing space, keep enforcing scientists, keep enforcing SpaceX and cars flying in space. As long as the public believes it, we're good to go. Guys, keep exposing the world's lies and celebrate truth. Take care.